Hey guys, Mike here, bringing to you guys a Don't Starve Together mod tutorial. Now this tutorial is going to be based off Custom Set, a mod I designed and developed back in 2016. Now I recently just did a new update for it to make it a little bit easier to understand. And now I'm making this video so everybody can understand it a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and jump right in and I'll show you guys how to do this. Now the first thing what you're going to want to do is go under host game. Now you can do this under a dedicated server too by uploading it to your mod file. Now what you want to do is go to the new world, select whichever one here you want, go under mods, enable custom settings which is the mod that we're currently going over. Now, go back under settings, you're going to use this game mode all the way over to custom. Now, this game mode is a wilderness game mode that now has portals and a choice to change your character on deck. Let's go ahead and uh, quit this as people keep joining the server as I'm uh, trying to do this mod. Now, you can turn PvP on or off, doesn't matter. Just put a password here. Now, what you want to do is go back over to mods, go to configure. Now you have different options here. So the spawn location, this gives you the option to choose portal or random. Now portal basically makes it so when you die you always spawn in the same location. Now this is great if you have your friends trying to find you when they first join in the game because you can say go right of the portal or you can just go right back to the portal and pick them up. I personally like random. Now the reason for random is this way when you die you're not going to spawn in the same location so somebody can just spawn camp you or spawn kill you. But for now we're going to start with portal. Now change character. You can have no or you can have yes. Now if you put yes, what this allows you to change your character after you die. No, you become a ghost and you must need to be revived. So right now we're going to pick no. That way we can show you what the ghost feature is. Now ghost sanity drain. This only works when change character is on no. So if you put no, basically when you're a ghost, you can't torment other other players and make them go insane. By having it on, you could just fall around the same player and basically make them go insane until the darkness gets them. Now, Portal Resurrection. Now, this is not available if you have your spawn location set as random. Now, if you set it as random, you don't have a portal to go back to. But if you do have it on portal, basically every time you die, you can go back to the main spawn point and you can resurrect yourself. Now, resurrection item. This is good to have, but if you want it so you can only resurrect yourself at the portal, I highly recommend you put this at no. Now, let's go ahead and apply these changes. Let's generate the world, and I'll show you what it is. So I'll see you guys when we get in the game. Alright, as you can see, the initial startup screen is you can select which players you want. So let's go ahead and let's select somebody with an actual weapon to start out with. That way we can uh, kill ourselves faster. So as you can see, we spawned at a portal, which is currently located here on the map. So now let's try to go kill ourselves. So I'll see you guys when we find an enemy to slaughter us. As you can see, we found a frog. Now this guy will kill us. It might just take a minute, so let's uh, try to grab them all. Here we go. Now as you see, we died and we are now a ghost. Now we could be evil and haunt these stupid goat, these little stupid frogs. 
now we have to run all the way back to the portal. So, once again, I will fast forward it, and I will see you guys when we get to the portal. Okay, as you guys can see, we are at the portal. Now what you do is you hunt this portal, and you now get your character back. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to quit out of this game, we're going to disconnect, and we're going to change the settings. Okay. As you can see, we're back in this screen. Now we're gonna go back under the settings here, and we're gonna add character on. Now what this is gonna do is allow us to change our character at the portal every time we die. So let's go ahead and resume. Okay, as you can see, we're back right where we are, left off. Now let's go try to kill ourselves again. This time we're gonna go this way, maybe to something over here. Kill us a little bit faster. Alright, I'll see you guys when we find somebody to kill us. Okay, as you can see, we died from the bees, and now we get to select our character again. We're going to be Maxwell, and we spawn back at the portal. Now we'll go ahead and disconnect again. And now what we're going to do here is we're going to go back into the mods. We're gonna go configure it again. We're gonna put this here as random with a character change, which I highly recommend if it's gonna be on random because you don't wanna be a ghost on random, basically. You won't have any way of resurrecting yourself and you're basically gonna make people join and just quit your game as soon as they die. It does make it very hard, but no one wants to reset their server constantly. So let's go ahead and resume this. Alright, as you can see, the portal is no longer here. So when we die, hopefully we can die fast enough here. Should be two hits. One hit. Wow. Darkness is uh, stronger than I thought. Now you can pick who you want. Let's quickly jump into this guy here. Now we're in a random spot. I don't know if we're gonna die completely. Ah, we didn't die. That's fine though. We can let the spider kill us. There we go. We died again. And we're back to the screen where we can select our character. And that is it for this mod. So basically, as you can see, it fully works now. It's very stable, even with the new updates for the Don't Starve Together. If you guys have any questions, feel free to check me out over on Twitch. Link will be below in the description as well as joining the Discord channel, which is also down in the description below. So, if you guys have any questions, leave comments, and I will see you guys later.